The Chief Community License Officer in the Ministry of Gender Equality, Poverty Eradication and Social Welfare, Terentia Shaonjo, says the committee has been dormant for the past five years due to limited budgetary allocation. With the current budget, the work of the committee has now been revived and members are expected to strategize on how to deal with GBV and other social ills. We're trying to revive the constituency um, task force of which then the budget that we allocated then in the, in the years back, we were using it for uh, reviving the constituency task force. So then we felt like for this financial year, since we have then revived the constituency one, if you are not part of the constituency, don't be bothered, of course, we're going to co-opt you. So what, then for this financial year, we felt like then let's do the regional one and let's revive the regional one so that we can have the whole picture uh, running in terms of, of, of being active. So that's why now we are trying to um, revive the regional gender permanent task force. Omaheke Governor Pion Ganate, who also served as a chairperson of the Gender Permanent Task Force Committee, reminded the team about the daunting task that lies ahead in addressing the pressing gender issues in the region. We dream as if there is no tomorrow. And anybody who's intoxicated is no more normal. The younger person who's drunk is, is no more normal. There is a lion in some of us. And some of them say that's loose, but on vac they did. And you know, alcohol, some people can become so quiet, like you think this person has loose speech. Others become so vocal. Others become so violent. We should keep those things in our communities. We should even be in a position to ask one another on the street, what are you doing on the streets this time of the night? Ganate also added that issues of gender-based violence require a multifaceted approach from different and relevant stakeholders.